Prowess and competition have long been ingrained in the traditional cultures of the Philippine archipelago. The first portion of the performance is going by the title Ugat ng Ating Lakas. As we all know, it is translated as the roots of our strength. We're seeing the backgrounds of our uh, different uh, traditional textile motifs that are from all the way up north to down south. We are featuring uh, peoples from the northern Cordillera as well as those from the highlands of Mindanao. So we see the dancers fill the stage in their very ornate costumes. Of course, it's thank you, Daghang Salamat, as they say in the South, in Visaya. As Chiki has pointed out, the animist peoples of Northern Cordillera and Highland Mindanao are featured in this first dance, this portion aptly titled The Roots of Our Strength. We can also see said that a lot of uh, care and detail has been put uh, in making sure that the costumes and the presentations are all authentic. This is the way we observe or we have observed these um, our uh, kababayans from the north doing their performing their traditional dances, and we want to present them to our neighbors here in the ASEAN in exactly the way we Filipinos know them. What is fascinating is the fact that these tapestries that we see on the LED in the background, in the costumes of the dancers, these are fact, in fact colors and diagrams and these are shapes that are shared by people who are from this region. And you know, there's been a, uh, a trend nowadays. You are going to see these same textiles and colors being used by the younger set. There has been <laughs> yeah. a, a boom or resurgence of uh, Filipiniana fashion, which is really wonderful, I think. This kind of combat fighting and the martial arts 
steep in tradition but still alive today as we will see in some of the sports that will be played in the Southeast Asian Games. Yes. Like Arnis and uh -huh. other such sports. 56 sports in these Southeast Asian Games, largest uh, so far in its 30 editions. We're used to about 36 sports at a time, huh, Sam? Yes, now we, have, we add on <laughs> yeah, another 20. This performance, by the way, includes students from different colleges and universities like Central Escolar University, TUP, the Technological University of the Philippines, Universidad de Manila, University of the East, Nakandula High School, mga anak ni Inang Daigdig dance troupe. So it's a combination of different schools participating and showing their, starting their stuff, so to speak. Can you imagine the amount of rehearsal that had to go into oh, this, yeah, yeah. this uh, undertaking and really I think the hardest part for all of these performers is to keep the spectacle to themselves because everything was supposed to be kept secret so that everything will be a big surprise for everyone and finally the days come and they're able to showcase uh, everything that they've uh, worked so hard for the past few months. This is, of course, the famous Sinkil. This is always a favorite uh, among uh, tourists who come. They never forget any uh, showcase of Sinkil, especially when they're invited to participate and try not to get caught in between those bamboos. This is actually a royal dance. Um, a, That's right. The princess uh, performs, and uh, there is a song and story to the dance as well. Enjoy. performance of the Sinkil was brought together by the students of the Technological University of the Philippines, the Paranaque National High School, Mariano Marcos Memorial High School, Lakadula High School, Ramon Ubusan Folkloric Group, at ang mga anak ni Inang Daigdei. Beautiful backdrop that we see there, complementing the costumes. Detail from a Sekutangan headcloth from the Yakan people interpreted through modern digital design.
backdrop ever changing. We are uh, showcasing the best of the best in uh, different colors and uh, textures that we can find mostly in the south. We will be seeing the uh, detail from a 19th century leader's trap from the Maranao. Of course, again, interpreted through modern digital design. I've seen in the backdrop. And that ends the first uh, set of dances. And we will go immediately, ladies and gentlemen, uh, straight into the parade of athletes. That was really nice. It's very hard to capture uh, the, uh, the richness of our culture, Seb. We had very few minutes and uh, yes. a little bit of uh, uh, just a, a small chance to be able to showcase what we uh, have from the, um, the from Mindanao, from all of the, um, the Maranaos. And of course, we also saw earlier on the, uh, the dances of the uh, tribes from the Cordilleras. Of course, there's the middle. Here are the Visayans or the, uh, the the other kinds of dance that we will see a little bit of before we head over to the parade of uh, athletes. We are in the very, very traditional Filipino dances, especially up north. And this is La Jota Manileña, a courtly dance that melts Hispanic influence with the swirling grace of earlier traditions. Bamboo castanets are used to mark the rapid cadences of this dance. This is where we see the influence of the, the Spanish. We see a little bit of a uh, flamenco flavor. La Jota Manileña has its roots in the Tagalog region. And this is a courtship dance that melts Hispanic influence with a swirling grace of earlier traditions. We hear, like Seb mentioned, the bamboo castanets. And this is something that uh, is very beautiful to watch. It's, uh, it is a dance that allows us to highlight and to feature the uh, uh, Maria Clara or this uh, other national costume that we are very used to. Sometimes it's hard to believe, Seb, that we are uh, looking at these dances and traditions that all come from the same country. They're so diverse. We yes, just went from exactly. And this is a Filipino welcoming dance, which will serve as the perfect segue into the parade, which will welcome all the delegations from the 11 participating countries. Again, you're watching this from the full variety of schools that are going to cherish this uh, memory for a very long time. The nice thing about the young generation, they'll have pictures. They'll have videos too. Yes, videos yes. too. All the way from the rehearsals to this final performance. Here to welcome the athletes of the 30th SEA Games to the Philippines, Robert Senya. And Para sa movie, ang ating mga atleta. 30th Sea Games in Atambansa, And we are getting started with the second part of our performance, of our um, ceremony, the performances. A place where everyone wears a smile 
with more than 7,000 islands like glimmering green diamonds where you can find the mountains hide behind the clouds and kiss the sky we welcome you to our beautiful country with miles and miles of sand and sea it beckons you to keep returning To a place that keeps you yearning For a great adventure's burning In your heart and in your soul Kagan Dan and Filipinas Kagan Dan and Filipinas We say Mapuhay, we bid you Miles and miles of sand and seas It beckons you to keep returning To a place that keeps you yearning For a great adventure's burning In your heart and in your soul Kagan Dan and Filipinas Kagan Robert Senya, that beautiful rendition of what we knew as the song Kay Ganda ng Ate Musica. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Speaker of the House of Representatives and Chairperson of the Philippine Southeast Asian Games Organizing Committee, Alec Peter S. Cayetano, together with the representative of the 8th District of Cavite and President of the Philippine Olympic Committee, Abraham N. Tolentino. Faith without action is dead. Your Majesty, the Sultan of Brunei, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, Your Excellencies, Mga Kababayan, Southeast Asian brothers and sisters, our athletes, magandang magandang gabi, good evening, asalam malaikum. We would like to express our gratitude, first and foremost, to the person who gave the go signals for the Philippines to host the 30th Sea Games, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Thank you, Executive Secretary Miguel Dia, Philippine Sports Commission, Philippine Olympic Committee. Thank you, Philippine Arena and Ka Eduardo Manalo. Thank you, Sea Games Federation, all national organizing committees. Thank you to our media partners and our sponsors for believing in us that we can do this and we can prepare in the 18 months given to us. Today, we put our faith in your hands, but we put actions into our faith. Today, we gather as brothers and sisters, 
as a community of Southeast Asian nations. We gather as children of God seeking to build a better world. Yes, building a better world, for we live in a world that is full of pain and suffering. A world where there's so much hunger and poverty. A world where lies and fake news take center stage. A world, a world where corruption, crime, and illegal drugs are destroying the next generation. Yet we look at our athletes and we see the truth. We see strength, we see wisdom. We look at these young people and we see not only the athletes, but we see our own future. In them, we see passion, sacrifice, discipline, teamwork, and respect. Everything we need to build a better world. Today, we stand tall and tell the world that in Southeast Asia, we are passionate. We are ready to make sacrifices. We are disciplined. We are believers in teamwork, and we firmly believe that everyone deserves our respect. Today, we stand tall to tell the world that in Southeast Asia, there is so much diversity, but we do not fear because we have faith, because we have hope, because we put actions into our faith. And why? Because we love God. We love our community. We love our Southeast Asian brothers and sisters. And through that love, we pray as one, we build as one, we work as one, and we win as one. President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, Your Majesty Sultan Haji Hassanal Bolkia, and members of the royal family, Excellencies of the Diplomatic Corps, members of the Cabinet, members of the Senate and the House of Representatives, other ministers of sports, officials of IOC and OCA, FISGOC and Philippine Sports Commission officials, different NOCs of ASEAN countries, officials of different international federations and national sports associations, host local government units, workforce, volunteers, dear athletes, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, I'm honored to welcome all our delegates, athletes and sports, officials from 11 participating countries in the 30th Southeast Asian Games. We also want to welcome to the Philippines all members of international media and all sports enthusiasts who have joined us here in the Philippine arena and those watching in various parts of the country and the region as well. On behalf of the Philippine Olympic Committee, I want to thank everyone who has contributed to make this event possible. To our athletes, our national sports association, coaches, technical staff, our volunteers, as well as members of this organizing committee, you are now part of history. For more than a year, the preparation for the 30th SEA Games have been daunting and challenging, but your hard work and efforts are all worth it. You have all made our country proud. Now more than ever, I'm so proud of being a Filipino. Tonight is a define, it's defining moment for the Philippines as we showcase the best that the Philippines can offer. More than that, I can feel the strong competitive spirit in the hearts of our athletes, as well as the never say die attitude of the Filipinos to show the world a new face of the Philippines. 
The next 11 days will be eventful, historic, and full of exciting sports action. After 14 years, we are again hosting the SEA Games. The long wait is over. With the unwavering support of President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, we are now opening the best and the biggest SEA Games in history. We are also proud and excited to be part of this major milestone. For most people, athletes competing in any international event should have a do-or-die attitude not only to bring a, home, a gold medal for themselves, but also to bring glory to their respective countries. But beyond these competitions, that will take place in the next few days, we also look forward to the power of sports to unify our region and our people, despite our diversity in culture, race, and religion. Sports test our endurance and determination. Sports make us stronger. And yes, sports bring us together. As a community and as a family, we stand together anchored in the spirit of hope, unity, and love for country. We can experience genuine victory without aspiring and working for lasting unity, not just in sports, but in our everyday endeavors. By the grace and guidance of the Almighty, we win as one. Again, I present to you the athletes and officials of the 38th Southeast Asian Games. Welcome to the Philippines, Mabuhay. May I now request President Rodrigo Roa Duterte to officially declare the opening of the games.
that part of the program where we will celebrate the energy of a people. This is called Sigla, or Vibrance, as we have a group of performers, their names will come out as they sing to you. very familiar to the youth songs of the master rapper, the late Francis Magalona, and he has his son uh, on stage now. He is uh, the second coming of this uh, great artist who's gone too soon, Elmo Magalona. More songs from the uh, great rapper Francis Magalona, this time brought to us by one of the uh, most celebrated female uh, singers, Casey Tamino.
No shortage of talent there, Seb, whether it be for singing or dancing. Ladies and gentlemen, Apple the App. And we know this guy, no need for further introduction. We have the international star, Pride of the Philippines, Apple the App. Now moving into probably the uh, climax of the evening as we bring in uh, very dazzling mosaics made of... Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for the opening ceremony of the 30th Southeast Asian Games 2019. Salamat sa pagsama niyo sa amin sa pagbunga ng seremonya ng Pinatumpong Southeast Asian Games 2019. We win as one. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the uh, completion of the opening ceremonies of the 30th Southeast Asian Games. A very resplendent, colorful, and um, Quite rousing, meaningful. yes. Meaningful. Very and, emotional, too, I would say. And and I would say not just the energy of the Philippines, but the energy of the entire Southeast Asian region will come to life in the next couple of days. This is the coming together of all these athletes, the celebration, the music, the dancing, the colors, the... Uh, 
just the revelry, everything just uh, a great way to start off the next 10 days of competition. And the theme of We Win is One, there will be no losers, no conquerors, no conquered, no vanquished in these games, only winners in the heart and the soul of this region.